I've just cruised along the track up the valley here and uh, saw the farmer come the other way and uh, you can't quite see it, but John's got a fucking flower in his ear. In his ear there. I don't know what he's up to. But I made him take it out before we bumped into the farm. I didn't want him thinking that we're heading up there for a gay boys weekend or something. <laughs> the old Tim Tam Slam, wasn't it, John? Yeah, Tim Tam yeah. Slam. Island and old fucking weirdo John. So we got Rosie and Dan. Hi guys. Hey and Cam's dad John and then um, Rosie's dad Pete. There you go. This is Pete. It's not in Osama bin Laden <laughs> as some may believe. But yeah we've just bounced up a, uh, another Canterbury River. We're up here for a few days. Um, weather looks pretty good. We've got one weather bomb coming through midweek. Um, but yeah, we're on the lookout for a tar or a deer or what have popped out. It's uh, 25th of November. So uh, hopefully we get onto something. Oh, Oh, well, it wouldn't be a bloody hunt if we didn't start it right. There you go, brother. Get one of those in you. Cheers, mate. We need to take that pink shirt off, John. Salmon. It's called salmon. Here you go, Rosie. You're gonna shoot a deer now. I am now. Come on, it's gotta be done. What's that? Oh. It's a good luck charm. Oh yeah. You can, have, you can have two. Car? Good. Yes. Get it in you. <coughs> Don't inhale when you got my muscle in your mouth, mate. I miss you, Nicky. You'll choke on my muscle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep that on tour. Here and spotted us a mob of bulls. Up on the face here, not far from the hut, so. They're actually all on their move down here, it's about four o'clock now. Um, everyone's sort of rushing around saddling their boots up. Uh, might get up there for a look. But yeah, we'll get out anyway. Look for a meat animal. Um, the rest of the week, just me and Johnny. The rest of the crew, they're going to go and have a look at that mob of bulls we've seen up a bit higher, so we're just going to cruise on up for a bit of a nosy. But he was cracking. The eagle dick here, I mean eagle eyes, is just they found us a deer over in here. Um, we've just been watching some bulls on the face behind us, you won't see it's just up above that scree there. Watching some mature bulls come down, but um, we're keen on some camp meat, so we might head over there and have a crack, I think. It's still 6 p.m., uh, so we've got a bit of time. Now we just put the stalk on those deer and the wind buggers up. And now we never saw them again, so we're back on this face now where the sun's going down. It'd be a bit easier to glass now. Don't have the same glare on the spotter, so we'll see if we can pick those bulls up again. I'll try and show you through the spotter. It's right in full view now. Sort of cruise around the valley, seen oh, 40 odd tar, uh, three deer, quite a few years. But um, me and John left me earlier to go have another look at another side of the valley, but it's pretty good, so I've just been cruising around on my own, doing a bit of glassing and hanging out with the dog. But the scenery is pretty epic. That's cool. She's a tough life being a bow hunter. Um, oh, about 500 metres from the old hut. Where's the hut? There. And uh, there were two hinds standing on that bush edge right there just looking at me. Oh, that's about maybe 150 metres away. But standing there looking at me, I could have just laid down and popped them off if I wanted to. It would have been nice to have some camp meat as well. But being a bow hunter, you just stand there and watch them trot away. Oh, still nice to see them. Oh, I'll well, just after I finish finish talking to you about those two deer, our buddy gunshot run out and um, old Johnny's thing the meat animal for camp by the sounds of it. Just talked to him on the radio, so it's pretty exciting. Johnny be stoked. Awesome. Oh, I've just dumped my gear just down 100 metres from the hut. I better go give me old mate a hand. He's getting old now, old Johnny. 
We won't get back till late if no one gives them a help. And then Barney will go and sort them out. Yeah, Johnny. Late. It's worthwhile. Yeah, well done, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank good you. Shit. Yeah. Look, it's a fucking good size shot, here, right? Shot him um, but too too far forward, so that's why to finish him off. Yeah. Yeah. He's just running down here, and yeah. That's a fucking nice dig. Do you know the old SSTs? Um, they can decimate the shoulder. I don't get all fancy with me, mate. I'm oh, sorry. Anyway. Good stuff. Yeah. It's gonna be some good chewing, eh? You reckon? Yeah. Oh well, after a bloody half an hour of fucking around with old Johnny's Bear Grill super knife, we got there. I was about ready to get, go back to the hut and get my spoon. I think we would have been a bit quicker. Cam, get your father a better knife, mate. This is a fucking disgrace. It's all right, Johnny. I'll uh, butcher, you, I'll butcher your deer and then carry it out for you. You offered, eh? You're fucking legend, hell! Fucking case. hell! <laughs> feeding some wet boots it's really disgusting but um we're gonna split up again i think um the north island lads are gonna head up and recover a tar that they shot yesterday we we'll have an attempt to recover it um and then me john and rosie are gonna head upstream and have a crack at some bulls i saw yesterday so should be good and spend the day up there or half a day up there and then we'll see what the afternoon brings they moved because I can't imagine they would have gone too far from last night. I saw three uh, mature balls a bit higher up but something ended up spooking them. We were, we were miles on and something spooked them and they ran up under the bluffs so listen to it. But we've seen, uh, I don't know, quite a few deer few more tar, so it's always good to see them. Heaps of deer sign in the riverview too, so pretty exciting for maybe a bow stalk later this evening. All the boys are back with their tar. They're able to recover it. Nice uh, young bull, be good eating. So we've got more uh, meat in the tree there. Plenty of meat for the truck. Good stuff. We're getting, some, it or you'll mush the... we're getting some lessons here about so, the Tim Tam Slam. Right. Suck until you get the coffee and then stop. Well, hardly, I'm, not, I'm obviously not sucking hard enough. I haven't got a big enough hole. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we just left, left the hut. We're going to um, head further upstream, see if we can get through the gorgey bit. We might set up a camp. We've got a bit of bad weather coming tomorrow. So we'll set up a good camp, maybe go out for an afternoon hunt and a couple of beers. That'll be good. We needed some dinner, so uh, Dan done the team well and then popped off a trophy here. There might be some here back so Get out Barney. Get out. Barney. Oh well we bounced a long way up the river. Um, couldn't find anywhere decent to camp because that shitty weather coming tomorrow so we'll come back down a wee bit. We're on a nice flat here. We'll set everything up just in, in here. It's a shame it's just a bit of a deer hot spot here. There's sign everywhere but you can only get what you can take what you can get I suppose. That's right. Get them to set it up. Yeah, look through here. Oh, fuck you. Let's go after him. Well, it's been doing a bit of glassing from camp, and uh, we managed to pick up what looks to be a mature bull. So, um, me, Rosie, and Dana set it up and heading up there. Um, hopefully, we can catch up with them before it gets too dark. He's down pretty low, so um, he looks pretty good. I'm recording when you're ready. Uh -oh, I lost him, I'm just going 
he's just honestly he's just about to walk out of sight. Just don't just come down. Just squeeze him behind the shoulder there. You got him? Just squeeze that trigger nicely. Did I you fucking you zacked him. Fucking you fucking it. zacked him. Did I? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god. You <laughs> fucking zacked him. Fuck Good yeah. shit, mate. Thank fucking you. done. Zacked him. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a shit high five. Oh my god, I'm too full of adrenaline. That was so good. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, Dad, we got the suppression. Oh, the, the old boy's talking now. <laughs> oh, that worked out perfect. We did a stalk from the valley floor. We did a stalk. You just keep eyes on him, <laughs> Did a good stalk from the valley floor, and um, so you've seen him from a long way away, and we had some great stalking country to come through, and we had Pete on the spotter at the other end in the radio, and we were just able to break it down by every hundred, and then we got within two eighty, I think the shot was, and um, yeah, you'll see on the on the footage. Just better stop there recording that road, he just absolutely sacked him. So that's cool, he looks like a pretty reasonable bull. He's a mature, mature bull hanging out on his own, so... Well, um, I think we'll get up there and have a look. Be rude not to. He's making the short, sharp climb be better to... on the other side of that little gut, wouldn't you? Yeah, we can duck over to that, yeah. He's making the little climb up to him now. That's, um, Pretty short and sharp, but he might be a bit of a scrub bash to find him too, but it's good having Peter down the spotter to um, guide us in. There it is. Oh, what are you living? <laughs> oh, you dream. Don't know about that, mate. We we'll have a look. If he's a teen, I'll be happy. Oh nice, look at those age rings. Big bases. Epic. I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Well, there he is, the old eight year old bull. How'd that pan out, Rosie? Uh, spotted him at camp in the spotter, made him the stalk with help from dad back at camp and then we got to 280 yards and the seven mile eight handled it pretty well. Yeah, that's yes, epic. Sir. Real cool actually, he's an eight year old bull hanging out on his own. Really stoked with that and to buddy top it off we've got some epic scenery. And then we've got Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Oh that's us, we're on our way back down the hill. Um just heard old Johnny. Johnny's just taken another couple of meat animals on the other side of the river, a couple more deer, so that's pretty epic. He's uh, definitely been keeping the old camp and meat. We've plenty to take out too, so. Uh, it's probably nine o'clock now. We're just um, cruising on down. We should be able to get back across that river, hopefully, before it gets dark. So it might be a fun river crossing in the dark. Bloody good, Johnny. Yeah, I'm stoked. More meat on the deck. Yeah, that's cool, man. Plenty of meat, another couple of couple of meat animals on the deck, so it's getting dark pretty quick now, so I think that's between the three of us, between the three of us, we'll uh, get them out of here, not far from camp. Back to camp, Johnny, well done, brother. Thanks, it's been a good day, hasn't it? Yep, the old meat collector. Good one. Cheers, Johnny. Bloody good. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, you should it's not for you. Oh, I think she's going to be a bit of a camp day today. The weather's turned pretty ugly. We had a real rough night. Um, we've got a pretty solid base camp set up here, so we'll just ride it out for the day. It's supposed to clear again tomorrow. As long as the river doesn't come up too high. Which has already risen a wee bit, so um, we have to keep an eye on that. Other than that, we'll be uh, camp bound, drinking coffees and talking shit. Serious gusts of wind come through and bend some poles on the gazebo, so we 
tied down like a rock now. Pretty tough in the storm. Yeah. What's that, Johnny? I don't know how we survive. I mean, we're just only just making it thinking about working out all right. Sure, I'm meant to do this? Yeah. It's alright, eh? Yeah. It's good. Why did, why did your son cry like a baby when he did that? Don't know, I don't know what his problem is, eh? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it looks like um, today's another camp day, not because the bloody weather's not good, but because the river's too high. Um, we sort of hamstrung ourselves now. We had sort of a day and a half of rain, and that river's come up. It's still raining in the headwaters at the moment. Um, the river's come up that much, we can't get across it. So, most of our hunting country's up over this side over here. We can see plenty of animals from camp, and unfortunately, we can't do anything about it at the moment, but hopefully. Hopefully by this afternoon, late this hour, it'll drop right back down and we should be able to get across. Oh, well, we've just um, spotted a lone chamois buck on the other side. We've had the river high all day, so we haven't been able to do anything, but I think we found somewhere we can cross now. And we're going to try and make a plan on it for, for Dan. Looks like a nice chamois buck. We'll get in a bit closer and make the call. I've made it across the river now. We're just gonna hike like up the distance about 800, I think. Hopefully, we can work our way up through the Manicare and get a bit closer. What do you reckon, bro? Cut another 50 off? Yeah, we can cut another 50 off. Okay, we're at 400 now. I need a galley pull straight towards him. Yeah, mate. You, you can see him with your eyes, eh? Yeah, hit him. Go again. Reload. Come heat flower. He's coming down this tree. You got him? Yeah. Better take him out. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Fucking good shit. Yes. Oh, we're finally. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was tense. Oh, you see there, he's got his first chamois. Yeah. Wasn't 100% orthodox, but we got the chamois on the ground. That was epic. It was a cool stalk again. Um, up the fan through the Madagari, and we shot at 360 metres. And uh, I think the first shot may go slightly high, but the last two connected. And the last one was the one that really counted. So let's go and recover the bugger. Good shit. Oh wow. Nice buck. Yeah. Not bad. Good join. <laughs> okay. So stoked. Mean bro. First sham. Nice representative too. He's awesome, eh? Love that dorsal stripe. Pull that hair on his back uh, end up. Look at that. That's fucking cool. Yeah, that's real long. And to top it off, we've got some epic scenery. Nice. Yeah, so we we spotted him way back at camp, tried to cross the river. Camp's back here. Tried to cross the river there and uh, was no good. So we came all the way up the side of the river to just here. And uh, Johnny and Rosie are still sitting there. Crossed over and then made our way up through this Madagari. And um, took the shot just, uh, just this side of that tree. Yeah. Bloody choice. 
No bad. Good choice. No bad there, mate. Today. No bad. Barney the Kia dog. Oh well, today's pack up day, day five. Um, we've got a bit of meat hanging in the tree, so we need to obviously get that out when we can. The river's gone down enough now for us to cross. So I think we'll um, make a move and aim to get out of here. Got a bit of packing up to do. Anyway, once we're all done and dusted there, we'll be on the road. We're on the trail, on the river. <laughs>